Secretary General Chambers, many thanks for coming here to the IB today. You're leading um, very distinguished delegations of ambassadors from Africa, the Caribbean, and the Pacific. You've been in your post now in uh, Brussels for over a year. What do you see as the role of the European Investment Bank in our engagement with uh, your region? There's no question that the European Investment Bank, EIB, is uh, one of the strong elements of the partnership between the ACP and the EU. And um, you can see from the large turnout of ambassadors uh, and other dignitaries to today's function that there's a lot of interest in the good work that the EIB is doing in many of our member states and regions. And uh, we want to see this uh, further strengthened, see uh, areas in which uh, this can be expanded. But um, we're very you know, pleased with the, uh, of course, the interest also that EIB is showing. Um, we very pleased uh, that the president of EIB himself has always made time to be at these events. Um, this is the third uh, in the series, and we've seen that this year the number is even larger, in demonstrating an increasing uh, interest uh, of ACP uh, states in uh, working with the EIP to uh, tackle uh, various uh, issues of infrastructure development, lending to small and medium sized enterprises, um, tourism development. Uh, uh, providing uh, development support to the water sector and, and other critical areas. And uh, all of this, I think, is in the right direction, and we will continue to work closely as partners. Thank you. In your opening address um, to start this, today's meetings, you talked about a number of global challenges. There are economic issues in Europe, but in countries around the world. How do you think the European Investment Bank can best contribute to specific challenges? And what do you think are the priorities for ACB countries for the next year or two? Uh, well, what we have seen is in spite of the global financial uh, crisis, that the ACP countries have recovered rather strongly. And so the challenge is to see how we can work with the EIP to maintain this momentum of growth that we are seeing across the ACP regions. Uh, of course, it's, it's on even stronger in some countries than others. Um, so the EIB can, you know, for instance, uh, continue to work with uh, some of the, the banks in our uh, various countries uh, to provide capacity building, uh, training, uh, the SME sector, um, so that uh, they can increase their ability to, to, to properly manage and lend to small and medium-sized uh, enterprises. Um, some of the uh, work that is being done, for instance, uh, in infrastructure, uh, I can give an example of the project of the expansion of the airport in, in Nairobi. Uh, it's a good example there because, as you know, for Kenya, if you take one example to, to, to really continue to grow, we must see improvement in the tourism sector so that numbers begin to build again and uh, we can achieve pre-crisis levels. Um, but uh, it's a range of areas. In, in Uganda, uh, the support is to the water sector, uh, which is, is very important. Uh, water uh, sector in, in Nairobi. But uh, the other concept uh, which we find very appealing is the mutual reliance uh, concept where EIB is working with other partners who are also uh, in our ACP countries, ACP regions, partners such as uh, uh, KFW, GF Germany, Agence France Development, and others. Uh, we think that this kind of collaboration uh, will bring the necessary or at least the required resources together to tackle some of the projects 
which we urgently see, uh, want to see take off the ground. Thank you. Do you think the European Investment Bank will work closely with the institutions, uh, very large projects? Do you think we can make a difference on the ground in terms of individual quality of life and meaningful development in smaller areas without the, the million dollar investment? Absolutely. I think um, here the review uh, of the activities of the bank, which uh, has just been concluded, uh, is pointing to the fact that there, there needs to be a balance between the investment dimension and the development work. Uh, the work targeting poverty and economic uh, uh, development, especially of uh, deprived areas and communities. And, and, and here, EIB indeed can also support, uh, and in that context, work closely with the European Commission in ensuring that there is a common approach in the fight against poverty. Um, that remains a principal aspect of the work, uh, the partnership between the ACP countries and the, uh, and the EU. And so the European Development Investment Bank can be a partner in this common fight against poverty. And I think some of the projects that uh, you're involved in, such as the projects uh, water, providing water, and in supporting SMEs, small and medium sized enterprise, is exactly the kind of work that will indeed empower people and help to create employment, particularly of women and youth groups. And uh, I believe that that's the, the way to, to go forward in the fight against poverty. The European Investment Bank's mandate and operations in the ACP region is based on a partnership. We work together. Do you think the, the bank can do more, and yourself and your colleagues here today, what do you think they would ask the bank to do to better contribute in the ways that we operate? One of the areas that uh, <coughs> ask that we look at is uh, in the mineral sector, because if you take a continent such as Africa, huge mineral potential, we see a lot of activity there. So there's scope there for, to support investments, also investment of local entrepreneurs in partnership with European entrepreneurs, uh, also uh, supporting uh, investments in value chain addition, because that's one way in which can generate more employment and increase uh, earnings uh, for uh, ACP uh, peoples. And uh, I think also that we can explore the, 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 the idea of uh, an instrument, an all ACP financial instrument, which we would like, or a vehicle, which we would like to establish with uh, technical support from the EIB and in which maybe we can open it up to other uh, emerging uh, uh, economies to come, as it were, to partner with Europe and ACP in providing much needed capital for economic development, for investment in many areas that hold huge potential for wealth generation, for improving opportunities, and for maintaining the le level of growth which we are witnessing, which is really healthy, if indeed we're to begin to see our countries emerge out of poverty and become uh, you know, strong economies. And one final question, um, Mr. Chambers. Looking ahead, how optimistic are you about the EIB's role in Africa and how we will improve not only current activities but also for future generations, for your children? No, I, I want to commend uh, the president of the bank for his personal uh, commitment. Uh, you see, this is not just his job, but it's, this is something that he has interest in, working with ACP countries, seeing that uh, this is a, a bank that can play an important role in this upward turn in the economies of ACP countries, what to do to sustain it and to consolidate that. Uh, because ultimately, that's how we will improve the lives of people in ACP countries. So I believe that the EIB will, uh, in the years to come, 
remain a strong partner of ACP countries and uh, I certainly look forward to working very closely with the President, the Vice President and uh, his team uh, in making this happen. Many thanks, Mr. Thank you.